Are you running out of ideas of what to post on social media? The other day I was sitting and working on a post, but I just couldn't nail it as exactly I wanted it to be. Then I ran into this product, which not only wrote the entire post for me, but it could do so much more for my social media. Today's product showcase is Okoya, an AI social media assistant, which can help you grow your social media presence. So without further ado, let's dive in and set up some posts. Here we are in the platform and I really do enjoy this design. We have our dashboard where we have a lot of different things that we can start doing, but I will just jump straight into the create functionality so we can create a post. Now here I can choose to either create content or I can create with Canva. And if I do choose to just create content, it goes straight into me choosing my format. And after this, we will see a Crello integration. For now, I'll just make a flyer then I click on fly here and we are now within Crello. So they do integrate with Crello, which is another product that I'm working with. Now in here, I can choose a template or I can just start building from scratch. I often do like to choose a template because it gives me some guidelines of where I can go with this post. Now I will just choose this autumn post right here. And then if I do press publish here, then it will publish my post. But I'm missing a little bit guidance here because where will it post it? Will it post it on all of my different platforms or will it only post it within the Okoya platform? Now, another way we can go around this is we can go to the scheduler. In here, we can schedule posting. So here we have my calendar. And if I do press schedule, I will be sent back to the content page where I can press create content again. Now, let's say I will create an Instagram post. And then again, I get the different types of templates out here. And each of these templates are exactly customized for the Instagram post size dimension. So all of these are 1080 by 1080. So if I just click on this one here, or let's say I take the vegan one here and I press publish, then again, we are on to the next. Within Crello, you can do a ton of different stuff. You can change the photos, you can work with objects and so much more. There are a lot of possibilities. So this is definitely a great integration Okoya has. And the same with Canva. If you have a Canva user, you do really know that with Canva, you can do a lot of stuff. But to be able to use Canva, you need an account with Canva. Whereas with Crello, just having your Okoya is enough. Now, another thing I want to show you within the content is stock images. Because you have access to Unsplash, you have access to Pixels and to Pixabay. So you can use all of those stock images easy within Okoya. And I think that's a general thing about Okoya. They integrate with a lot of different softwares and platforms to really gather everything within their platform to make it easy for you to control your social media and do a lot of great posting. Because the same we see with GIFs over here. Here we have powered by Giphy, which means they pull in all of the GIFs from Giphy for you to use on your social media. So let's say I like the one here with the elephant. I can then create a post with this elephant and then move on. Now you can see that I'm at my content and here I then have the elephant. I can then choose to generate a caption. And by generating a caption, we are then utilizing the AI copywriter within Okoya. So here we can describe the idea we want for this elephant. I will just write elephant running after a ball. This is just for this sake of the video. Here you can see that the only thing cuter than a baby elephant is a baby elephant chasing its favorite toy. I think that's great. I'll just add it. And you can see over here as I add, it's building out the post. Then I can choose to generate trending hashtags. And you can see these trending hashtags does not necessarily have something to do with your posting. That would be a really great feature. And I think that's definitely something they need to change. So I could at least give it some input or it would take my caption input to find the trending hashtags. And I would also like to see some information about the hashtag. Why is it trending? And why is this relevant for my post? Because of course there can't be hashtags that I don't necessarily find relevant for my post, but because of all the data that Okoya has, they will tell me it is relevant because X, Y, Z. Now we can also generate inspirational quotes if you are that type of channel or that type of profile. Here you can see we get some different ones. Happiness lies in perspective. What we think we become from Buddha and so on. So all of these elements are possible. And then when we are satisfied, we can save the post. 
and we now have a post with a caption ready to just schedule. Now, if you have built out some content on your own computer, you can upload it to Okoya right here and then use it as a post to schedule or to shoot out to your followers. Now, if you want to utilize the AI aspect of Okoya without it has to do something about social media, this is also possible because out here in the menu, we have Travis AI and via Travis AI, we have a lot of different types of AI content generation tools that we can use. And these can be confusing because they don't have anything to do with social media. You can see we have block conclusion that has nothing to do with social media. Of course, you can use a conclusion as a social media post. If you do find it relevant, let's say that you are posting about a blog that you did, then posting a conclusion of the blog can be helpful sometimes. But for instance, feature to benefit or YouTube video topic ideas, that's not necessarily something for social media. So you need to see all of these tools in here as an extra add-on that you get with Okaya. Now to test out Okaya's AI copywriter, I will just choose to generate a Google ad copy. I will type in my product name, which is panzer.ai and a description telling that it's a project management system, which utilizing AI to help you manage your project. So now let's try and generate a Google ad copy to see how good this one really is. And what I really like about Okoya is that it generates text so fast. What I do not like is that you only get one ad copy here. So if I did not like this one, I had to run it again. What we see in other AI copywriting tools is that we often get three to five different types of ad copies that we can check through and to really choose the one that we like. And this is also a way to train the AI to really see which is most liked and what type of wording and so on. So that's something I would hope that they would really add to Okoya platform because it is a great platform. Now here we have our Google ad copy and I think it's a great result and I really do like that it separates into headline one, headline two, description one and description two because that's how you need it within Google ads. So when it is you set up your ad and I think it makes more or less sense. I would make small changes for instance, about the chatbot and the one-on-one -on -one assistance, that's a little bit irrelevant, but I think overall that's a great result. Now let's move on to the e-commerce here, because if you are running an e-commerce website or a web shop, you can see here we have Shopify, Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. Right now it is not able to run for all of these. I know that Shopify is possible, but for the rest you need to be patient because they are not integrated yet. But with Shopify, you can integrate your Shopify website and then you can pull in all of your products within Okoya and then you can easily create posts around a product. So let's say that you are selling a pair of shoes and you want to create some awareness about these shoes. Then via this integration, you will have the shoes in here and then on the product, you can create a post about the shoes. It could be a small feature you want to tell about these shoes or it can just be overall that you have them on sale or similar items. So by having this integration, you save a ton of time because it's pulling all of the data points for you. And with all of the integrations coming up with Amazon, eBay and Etsy, it will be a very powerful tool. Now in the analytics section here, this one is not very extensive at the moment. We have our post here where we can see how many images we have created, how many posts we have created, hashtags generated and so on. This is a bit irrelevant. I want to see the traction of my post and we can also see that a little bit here, but this is very, very limited. You can see out here, we can also sort on our profile. I would like to see a more extensive analytics. And as I'm gonna talk about later in the video, they are actually working on this. Now the last menu point is our social channels. Here it is just for you to connect your social media. And they do also integrate with Buffer Schedule and Hootsuite Schedule if you're already using those. Of course, it is a little bit duplicate, so I wouldn't use both applications, but that is of course up to you. If you have the highest plan, they do also have API, which I will not go into. Now moving on to the pricing structure of Okoya, it consists of three plans. And as you probably can see here, these plans are not cheap compared to the competitors. You do really need to go through each of these plans to find out which one is perfect for you. If you are an agency, do go with the most expensive plan because there you get the functionality to really pleasure all of your customers. But if you're just a single company or a freelancer, then take a look at the lowest plan. Of course, if you do need the features of the higher plans, then do go with those. 
But what I would really recommend you is taking the seven day trial to test out the product to see whether it's for you. Because when we do compare it to the competitor as I see it, which is Radar, it is a lot similar to Radar, but Radar has social media listening, which Okoya doesn't have. And Radar does not have the AI assistant, which Okoya has. So it really depends on your need. If you need a lot of social media analytics and ways to post and listen to all what is going on around your channel, then go with Radar. But if you need the AI aspect and help about posting and an integration to your e-commerce site, then do go with Okoya. It really depends on your need. Moving on to the future of Okoya, they are of course working on the workflow of the platform so we can use it more efficient and faster go from zero to have our post out on social media. Then they're working on white labeling features, multi accounts, more extensive analytics, and the most important element is that they're working on more integrations. Here I'm talking about integrations to Pinterest, Etsy, and to TikTok, which means that for instance on Etsy, you can easily share all of your products on social media with this simple integration. And with Pinterest, of course, you can auto schedule a lot of different posts. And with TikTok, you can post your video material, which you can even build within Okoya. So with all of these features coming, we will definitely see an increase in the value of Okoya. Now I want to share some use cases with you. If you are a small to medium sized company, you can easily use Okoya to manage all of your social media presence. Even though they do not have the social media listing, you can schedule a lot of your posts via Okoya on the different platforms that they integrate with. And you can even create all of these posts within Okoya. So as a small to medium sized company, you can really gather all of your social media activity within Okoya. Now, if you are an e-commerce website, Okoya is perfect for you because Okoya integrates with Shopify and soon Etsy. So if you use these platforms, you can easily pull in all of your products and then create awareness about all of these products, even if it is products coming soon. This will mean that you can faster get your product off the shelves and sold to all of your clients. The integrations are a great way to really narrow it in, get all of your products within Okoya and then shoot it out to all of your followers. Now moving on to the pros and cons of Okoya, starting with the pros. They have a beautiful design and they have an AI copywriter and then they have e-commerce integrations. Whereas for the cons, they do not have a WooCommerce integrations or TikTok, and this will really higher the value of Okoya. Last but not least, the content flow where you go from zero to having a post ready, is just too long, it's not efficient enough yet. With Okoya, I always have ideas for my social media posting. And with the constant development of the software, it makes it an interesting tool for me to use in my everyday. Overall, I will give Okoya four stars. I really enjoy using the tool and all of the functionality within. But yeah, that is my review of Okoya. I hope that you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to Okoya or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.